Linda Robson, 64, has opened up about who her ITV Loose Women co-hosts and panelists argue over the most. The star has been a regular on the show since 2010. She explained, when speaking at the National Reality TV Awards 2022, who was the most divisive public figure. Linda said, Boris because I'm a fan of Boris and a lot of women aren't a fan. He lives local to me and I just think out of all the people who've looked after us over the years he really had a difficult job. First of all we had Brexit, then Covid and what they did with Covid and wheeling out the vaccination and everything. I think he's done quite a good job. Speaking to Daily Star, she added, I know him because he lived in Islington so I used to see him all the time so I am a bit of a Boris fan. She ruffled a few feathers last month when the panelist defended the Prime Minister live on air. The star announced she was sad that Boris would be retiring. The Birds of a Feather star said on the show, I'm really sad because I have been a bit of a Boris fan as everyone knows. I think the public should have had some say in this. I don't think it should have just been up to the politicians. We all have a right to have a say in it as well. She joked later on that she had two spare bedrooms if he needed somewhere to stay after leaving 10 Downing Street. It's not the first time the 64-year-old has caused a stir with ITV viewers, however. Following the news of the Ukraine war outbreak in February, Linda confessed that she didn't watch the news. Linda was joined by fellow hosts Kay Adams, Nadia Sawala, and Judy Love. It was for a Friday installment of Loose Women where they discussed the latest news at the time about Russian President Vladimir Putin invading Ukraine. The former actress told the panel she did not read newspapers or watch the news. She confessed she did not realize the extent of the crisis until she was informed in the morning meeting before going on air. Linda explained, I mean, I don't watch the news and don't read newspapers or anything. So I was sort of a bit oblivious to how serious it was really. She later admitted, it was only when I got into work today and we were all talking in the meeting that I realized how serious it was. And talking to some of our young boys who work on the show, one said he was really anxious, 